Yo, what up guys? Welcome to Game Over Entertainment and today we're diving into Life is Strange, a brand new episodic adventure from Square Enix. I've been waiting for this since I first heard about it and today I'm actually going to get to play it. Pretty excited to see what's in store for me, man. Uh, the content of this game is truly fictional. Whoa, okay, no one can read that, but uh, <laughs> yeah, so let's see what Square Enix can do doing an episodic adventure. Kind of copying off that telltale recipe of your choices matters and you can go back and change your choices how you see fit. But uh, one unique thing about this is that the main character supposedly has the ability to time travel. So that's going to be a unique element and uh, I'm interested to see how they're going to use that in this gameplay. As far as pricing goes, the first episode is actually uh, $4.99. But uh, you can check out this video right here and see if you actually are into it and if you want to buy it for yourself. Life is Strange is a story based game that features player choices. The consequences of all your in game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. All right, I'll make the right choice. Normally, I don't go back and change choices, but uh, we'll have to see how it goes. No matter how much rain, the eye makeup stays intact. What's happening? <laughs> I'm trapped in the storm. How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Alright, off to an interesting start. Maybe I'm in a dream or something. Who just wakes up in the middle of the woods <laughs> in the middle of a rainstorm? Alright, so graphically, the game looks quite nice. It's nice. I really like the, uh, yeah, it looks kind of tough. Dang, that mug is huge, dude. That's like the end of the world type of tornado right there. That's a hurricane. It's too big to be a tornado. That thing is serious. Holy shit. Right? Oh, yeah. Rated M for mature. Alright, there's gonna be some bad language involved. <laughs> That's probably as far as it goes, though. I'm not expecting any blood. Oh, crap. Whoa. That yep. was so surreal. He famously called film <laughs> Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now... <laughs> Can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by... Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Hmm. It's like a class project. The eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Hmm. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? All right, we have a diary here. October 1st, my favorite month. I'm not about to read all this right now. Well, I guess I will. Shit. All right, so we got a diary here giving the 
biographies of these four characters and i guess it's not meet more people this is going to fill up more so maxine she's actually in 12th grade this is a special academy for gifted uh gifted artists a private academy so uh maxine is doing her thing with the photography actually her teacher wants her to enter competitions but she's kind of shy and is afraid that uh her work won't be accepted so hmm Happy special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you still, yeah. No, no, I'm blowing it all at once. Oh, what day? You hooked me up? I prefer Robert Frank. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. Take a selfie right in the middle of class? I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that I... Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Oh, of course, okay. as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. <laughs> this dude about to fall asleep, man. Now, Max, <laughs> since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Yeah, I got this. I did know. That sounds bad. I did know. But I kind of forgot. You mm. either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. Wow. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even <laughs> online. All right, good. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> ah, that was dumb. <laughs> Taking a selfie in the middle of class. Ah, good thing my teacher's so cool. Other teachers probably would have took my camera. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Yeah, I recognize this. Ain't nothing but Adobe Photoshop, bruh. I got that. <laughs> nah, I don't know what, what program it is. Nah, you know what? That could be Photoshop. Looks a lot like it. Mm. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. All right, Mr. Jefferson, huh? Jeez. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. She really looks up to this guy. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Hmm. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people <laughs> laughed. Ah. Uh. Yeah, she put me, she exposed me, man. Of course. I gotta get her back Gloria for that. has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Oh, yeah, let me use her shit. I should have known. 
She'll have better equipment than Black. Oh my God, fifty-two hundred dollars. <laughs> the most of camera business camera I've seen is like three thousand. That's pretty crazy. Fifty-two hundred, man. Huh? This might make a cool shot. That is a car. That's how much my car costs? Uh, yeah. What's up? Uh, how Hi, you doing, Kate. girl? Oh, hi, Max. Oh my God, you need some sleep. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Yo, my girl is like a zombie. <laughs> I wonder what's really going on with her. I'm gonna talk to her one more time, man. What's Let's going on? Let's talk later, Max. Okay, I get the point. You know, let's talk. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. <laughs> Dear Kate, we love your point. Oh, damn. Was she... Was she really exposed in the video? Maybe that's what happened? They set her up with a guy, and then a guy tricked her, and then took new pictures of her? Oh, high school. Man. It's a cruel place. Mr. Jefferson's... I should apologize. No, screw her. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. That's not what's going on. No excuses, man. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Hmm. Oh, well said, well said, man. You can never escape the lighthouse here. All right, so I'm in Seattle. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. Damn. I it's pristine digital images, but I still dig my little instant camera. So does it shoot in 4K? 20 grand, it's crazy. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Alright, it's time to get out of class. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't what? wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. What? This TV is dated, man. My TV is more high-tech than that. This is an old Samsung. Get that up out of here. <laughs> uh. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The decisive moment by Henry Cartier Bresson. That's rare. And how cute uh, I looked yet. I was about to. You you welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special I picture. picture. I, feel like you have I think that's the dude who's been texting me. He plays it so shy. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that. So fucking Square Enix. Man, I'm loving the uh the UI, the style of uh how stuff looks in the world and uh the selectable menu. What are you feeling at? Ah, uh, copyright music. We'll find out. <laughs> May have to take that out. Don't text and drive. Episode one, Cry Celis, I think. Hey, what's up, Alyssa? Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. To all of you. Yeah, I got kept the music off. My bad, my bad. They singing now, I know. Intro for that. Just for this part, guys. Say much to me, but 
His photos are very cool. Hmm. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. No, oh, Dana. <laughs> she like, she, I know what her future uh, <laughs> occupation is going to be. Let's see. Brooke. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Oh, they fighting. Oh, he getting bullied, man. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Hmm. hmm. Missing. It looks like she's been gone for months. Oh, yeah. This old girl. Rachel Amber. 19. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Hmm. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. Good thing I left my AK at home. <laughs> What's it say? Gun free zone. <laughs> Use of tobacco prohibited. Oh, really? And more pictures of Rachel missing. It's a lot of selectables. Free up. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. But I'm so shy, I can only look at them. I can't actually talk to them. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. Blackwell sure takes it swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. Alright, where's the restroom at? I gotta use it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, the female restroom. If I walk in the men's restroom, I will ruin alert. any popularity I have. Warren written all over it. Actually, <laughs> be a downward spiral. Alright, let's go. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Yes, I've never been here before. The female restroom. What does it look like inside? Alright, no urinals. No duh. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, nothing special. Just a female restroom. I thought they had like a seating couch, you know, some chairs. Maybe uh, a TV. <laughs> Alright, I'm being silly. I hate Victoria Chase. <laughs> Fire alarm. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. Oh man. If they gave me the option to push it. This poster must drive people to have sex. So Kate runs an abstinence foundation or club or something? I'm good to flow. And everybody right. picks on her for it. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to be doing something here? Look at the mirror. <laughs> I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all starts with a <laughs> bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy?
Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Damn. Come on, Maxine. You need some self confidence. Can I push a button to give you when self confidence? The door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. All right, let's do this. I can get the butterfly. Got it. I like those old style cameras, man, but the quality just ain't there anymore. What is it, like two megapixels? What's this dude doing in the restroom? The fuck? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. I check. This ain't you unisex. Own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my <laughs> family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, huh, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? Uh, what are you doing? Turn Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh. Okay, what's going on here? Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He Check. shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back oh. here. She doesn't even recognize her. It has been a long time. I already heard this lecture. I can answer it. I look like a... Ooh, I look good. Alright, I got this. Oh, this is cool. Phone rings, this is real. Shit! Can you give me an oh. example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe this. Captured the human oh. condition in black and white. Let's okay. rewind again. <laughs> crazy. I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Oh. I got the power. Give me back my camera. <laughs> uh, yeah. I actually did it. Oh, yeah. I'm a human time machine. Or I am really crazy. Max, don't freak out. Not yet. 